travelers, hello from Barcelona, Spain. Today, this video belongs to my Barcelona by Neighborhood series. So if you want to know all the neighborhoods, keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell if you don't want to miss any news from Barcelona and Spain. So if you're coming to live to Barcelona and you want to know neighborhoods to live, or if you're coming here for holidays and you don't know where to stay, keep watching till the end because I have a free guide for you to download of this amazing neighborhood graphic. to share with you right now guys is a map so that you can understand where exactly is Gracia. Gracia is in the northwest of Barcelona right below Parguel and Parguel is a must see because it is a beautiful park created by Anthony Gaudi the most famous architecture in Barcelona so for sure you have to go there. So my recommendation is that you first go there because it is up in the mountain and then you walk down towards this incredible neighborhood for lunch or for dinner. Right now we are in Plaza de la Virreina because this is the closest place to Parguel if you are walking. I want to share with you also ways to get to Gracia. The easiest way, of course, is a taxi. <laughs> Second way is by uh, metro. We have two lines. We have the L4, the yellow line, and the metro station is Joanny. Or we have the L3, the green line, which metro stop is called Fontana. And then we have tons of buses. So I'm not going to talk about them right now. So, as I said before, you can buy metro or you can buy taxi or you can walk in from Parkway. If you have been watching my videos, you know that when I go to a neighborhood, I don't go alone because it's more fun with a friend. So today, guys, we are going to do this video with my friend, Agatha. <laughs> Hello, travelers. We don't have a mix, so oh, don't okay. talk. Sorry. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Agatha. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, travelers. I'm so happy to be back with you guys. We wanted to do this Gracia video three years ago, but didn't manage yet. Many things happened in the last three years. So shall I tell you why it is so special? Yeah, please. Okay. First of all, before it was not part of Barcelona, it was a village. That's why it's called Vila de Gracia, the village of Gracia. When the city walls were demolished about 150 years ago, there was one street built, which is Paseo de Gracia, a very emblematic street, and that street led to Gracia. And this was the way how Gracia became part of the city. Now, it is very special because still it keeps its village kind of atmosphere. So when you come to Gracia, you will feel like you've traveled, first of all, to another city, and definitely you will feel like you've traveled in times. What you perceive here is the slow life. Everything is really slow. So it's definitely worth a visit. And if you come, take yourself some time. Definitely three to four hours. Yeah. The best is to come in the afternoon towards the evening or on the weekends. That's when you can perceive the typical vibe of Gracia. It is where you see the elderly people sitting on benches. Mm -hmm. You will see mothers having a vermouth, many kids playing on plazas. And this <laughs> is the typical vibe of Gracia. This was the place where the summer houses were built, the summer houses for the industrialists. And one of those houses is Casa Vicente, which was the first house that was built by Gaudi. We're going later. One question that a lot of people ask me, and I bet they also do it with you, is Barcelona safe? Which neighborhood is not safe or well, whatever? Barcelona in general is very safe and Gracia itself is very safe. It's very family friendly. You will see a lot of kids, mothers, fathers, grandparents walking around. And especially if you can during the weekends, today this is Saturday afternoon, it's very crowded and wait till the evening because it's gonna be more crowded. You will never feel alone, you will never feel in danger. It's really safe. Today, guys, we are going to show you how to spend the most amazing morning, morning or, afternoon. or afternoon in Gracia neighborhood. We are going to show you the plazas because Gracia is really famous because of its plazas and the bars, the restaurants, the amazing shops, the eco, vegan, the whatever, organic, the tea shops, the wine cellars, the markets, and the beautiful streets of Gracia. So let's go. Valerie, 
travelers, this is one of my favorite squares in Barcelona. Definitely. You know why? It is because here I feel like I'm in a village and not in Barcelona anymore, especially because of the architecture. Look at this building, for example. A very small, very old building and the green mint color makes it super special. This church, San Juan, was built at the same time as the Sagrada Familia and it has a modernista style. Now, if you look around you, once you are here, you will perceive it is surrounded by amazing, old, beautiful buildings. Now the terraces are always full of people having a vermouth, having a glass of wine, and here you can perceive the slow life that is so particular for a Gracia. If you come here, you have to enjoy yourself, sit down, have a vermouth or a glass of wine, and you will feel like one of the locals. in a square called Plaza del Diamant, the diamond square. But before, <laughs> Valeria had to get one of those amazing sweets from one of those amazing pastry shops here in Gracia. Are you enjoying your pastry? Love it. Diamond square. Now you're gonna ask yourself why the name diamond square? Okay, so when this was built, it was built by the town councillor and he was engaged with the trade of precious stones. Mm, I see. So diamond, okay. very important. <laughs> Now you will realize that the streets around here, they've got the name after precious stones. We have got one street, which is La Calle de la Perla, yeah. the street of the pearl. You've got another one, Carrer de Or, which is the street of gold. And the other one? Topaz. There you go. Topazi. Exactly. The stone. What is really special to the square, we've okay. got a shelter. Mm -hmm. If you are interested in visiting it, you need to come here on a Sunday at if 11. If you're not Come here on Sunday at 11 o'clock in the morning, you will be able to visit it you will enter a maze of tunnels that go underneath Barcelona. Those shelters, they saved many lives in the civil war. Let's go to the shelter. If you are walking in Gracia district, for sure, at some point, you will cross this street, Verde Street. You will see here, we have the narrow streets, lovely trees, we have a lot of international restaurants, we have vintage shops, we have beautiful clothes shops, crazy shops as well, and bookshops. And we have this particular thing that I want to show you in case you are living in Barcelona. We have this cinema called Verdi, Cinema Verdi. This is actually one of the few cinemas we have in Barcelona in which you can see the movies, the international movies in original language. Because if not, everyone in Spain actually watched the movies dubbed into Spanish and I hate it. So if you're living here, make sure you come to Verdi Cinema if you want to see Leonardo DiCaprio talking like Leonardo DiCaprio, not like one Spanish guy. Fontana metro station right there so from here you can walk towards Casa Vicente. We mentioned Casa Vicente earlier but you might have forgotten so Casa Vicente was the first building that was built by Gaudi but it was the one that recently was opened as a museum so if you have been here four years ago for example you might not have been to Casa Vicente yet so come and check it out. <laughs> yes guys and if you want to know more about Casa Vicente just click here in my video about Barcelona hidden gems. If you don't see it yet it is because I didn't upload it so you're gonna have to wait a little bit. If you're lucky, you will see it here, just check it out. Let's go to our favorite, most interesting stores in Brazil. Travelers, 
travelers, if you have been watching my videos, maybe you remember about this place. I have been already to the best tea shops in Barcelona. If you want to check it out, click here in my video. Why is it called Tet Sol? Well, sol, sol means sunny because it is always sunny here. So it doesn't matter if it is raining all around in Gracia, here it won't rain. Okay? No, I'm kidding. But people love to be here under the sun in this square. Actually here there was a shelter as well, but it was demolished. So we can say that the only shelter that we have in Gracia is in the previous square, in Plaza del Diamant. So this is emblematic for all those people who come to grab a drink. Actually, they bring their bottle of wine or vermouth with themselves and they would sit on the ground. Yes. Something that you would not see in other squares and not in other cities. So if you want to enjoy this as scenario, come to Plaza del Sol, come early. Come early. If you want to feel local, bring something, come early, sit on the floor. And enjoy the typical vibe of Barcelona. And always try to look up, because this is where you're going to see all those amazing jewels of the architecture of the 1800s. Let's go grab a beer and let's, let's sit there. Let's go. Let's go. which is called Villa de Gracia Square, Plaza de la Villa de Gracia. We have the singers, we have the people, we have a lot of noise, but this is Gracia, my friends, especially summer afternoons and during the weekends. What is special about this square is that we have the bell tower here, and this one was built in 1860 by the same architect who built the Eschampla neighborhood. You know you're watching my Barcelona by Neighborhood series, so if you want to know also about the Eschampla neighborhood, favorite neighborhood, click on this video. I did that with my friend, Chad. So travelers, can you see this? All the kids, all the terraces, slow life. When there's something happening, like some fiestas in Barcelona, they would all be happening here on this square. We've got the Castellers, we've got the Sardana dance, we've got the giant heads, and oh, Las Fiestas de Gracia. Check it out, Valerie did a video on it already. If you can come in August, you're gonna enjoy all the squares in Gracia. They are beautifully decorated and all the streets have amazing artwork hanging up. We've done so much shopping, so much looking around, visiting many, many places. And now it's time to enjoy a nice glass of cava and a yes, white wine. please, let's go. In this amazing place, very authentic and old. Come in with us. Let's go.
hope you have enjoyed our grassy and neighborhood guide. Right now we are at the end of the video in one of my favorite bars, Bar Pietro. We are going to have a glass of wine in Cava. And so hope you have enjoyed guys and see you in our next episode. Where are we going next? Uh, we are going to do best speakeasy hidden bars in Barcelona. Well done. Subscribe to my channel travelers and see you next week. Bye bye! bye, -bye.